Hello, my name is David Petrosky. I'm a California attorney, and my office is located in the Santa Clarita Valley of Los Angeles County, California. We represent landlords only with eviction cases. We don't represent tenants. If you check our reviews online, you'll see that we are consistently rated as a five-star law firm. We've been representing landlords since 2004. I'm a published author and a referral source for many different real estate agents, landlords, and attorneys. And we get results. However, there are no guarantees of success on any one case. Today I'm going to be discussing evictions in the Santa Clarita Valley from the landlord perspective. Remember though, I'm not your attorney unless and until we get a signed attorney representation agreement with you. You should consult with your own legal counsel on each individual case as each case is unique and different. Some common reasons for eviction in the Santa Clarita Valley, and that could include, of course, New Hall, Canyon Country, Santa Clarita, Valencia, Sagas, and other surrounding communities, even Agua Dolce on the way to Lancaster, so on and so forth, uh, would include non-payment of rent, violating terms of the rental agreement, assigning or subleasing the property, or causing a big nuisance. And I'm going to go into each one of those here briefly. In terms of non-payment of rent, this type of an eviction is needed when your tenant stops paying the rent or only pays a portion of the rent that they are required to pay. Now, a common defense that a lot of tenants will raise when a landlord is evicting for non-payment of rent is that a tenant will say that the landlord has not maintained the property in a habitable condition and repairs weren't made. So as a landlord, you want to be able to be sure to have good repair receipts and proof of all repairs that you've made at the property during the tenancy. Now another reason for an eviction in the Santa Clarita Valley is if your tenant is violating a term of the rental agreement other than non-payment of rent. For example, if the rental agreement says no smoking but your tenant is smoking, or if the lease says no pets, but your tenant has pets, these are violations of the rental agreement that would warrant an eviction. Another reason for an eviction in the Santa Clarita Valley is if your tenant is assigning or subleasing. Let's say, for example, you as the landlord rented to tenant Jane Smith, but then Jane Smith allowed John Doe to also live at the property in violation of the rental agreement. This would be grounds for an eviction. Lastly, if your tenant is causing a big nuisance at the property or damaging the property and diminishing the overall value of the property, this would also be grounds for an eviction in the Santa Clarita Valley. Now, in terms of what is a nuisance and how much damage is enough damage to warrant an eviction, is subjective. It can't be a minor inconvenience. The nuisance or the damage needs to be substantial. There are a few things for landlords to be aware of in evictions in the Santa Clarita Valley. And in 2019, even though the voters a year earlier than that voted against rent control, the California government decided to enact statewide rent control in 2019, and it became effective in, on January 1st, 2020. And it's known as AB 1482, or the Tenant Protection Act of 2019. And you need to determine whether or not your property is subject to these new rules. And if it is, there's additional requirements and restrictions on both evictions and the amount of rent that a landlord can raise um, the rent on a tenant each year. And I have published additional videos on AB 1482 on this YouTube channel that you can review. And you need to be aware of the new rules and de determine whether or not your property is subject to these restrictions.
Now, if your property is located in the Santa Clarita Valley and your eviction is based on non-payment of rent, we do offer a free consultation. You can visit us on our website at attorneydavid.com. If your uh, case is not about non-payment of rent but something else, we also offer a consultation, but it is a paid consultation. And then uh, we also encourage you to uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We do offer a lot of information for landlords. I publish a blog on the website. Again, that's attorneydavid.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well to be updated when we publish a new video. Thank you very much, and we look forward to helping you in the future.